Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in San Jose, and we're here at the Dell booth, but I'm here with Todd Mostak from MapD. So let's, let's start beginning. Who is MapD and who do you help? So MapD is a company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, we build around our in-memory GPU database technology, scales to any number of GPUs, NVIDIAs, Intel 5s, any card that has a massively parallel architecture. It takes advantage of the massive memory bandwidth and parallelism of these cards to deliver results in interactive results in milliseconds. We work with partners like Facebook and PayPal to help build interactive systems that they can see data and build hypotheses in real time uh, across, you know, hundreds of gigabytes to terabytes of data. Okay, so this is this is a way to see big data, as it were, and explore the space. In some ways, but, yeah. you know, people see this and they think it's a visualization technology, but underneath, it's actually a in-memory relational database that we allow a subset of SQ SQL to be applied, and you can do any normal query like you do on any other SQL database. Uh, we do allow some visualization and machine learning. Obviously, these are things GPUs do really well at. Okay. So. Can you show us how it works? Sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, you may have seen uh, our billion tweet map demo we did at Supercomputing. This is actually a new thing that we're working with uh, the Sunlight Foundation uh, to build this. Uh, it's called Campaign Map. Uh, Campaign Map basically has all the political donations in the U.S. geocoded uh, down to the address level for the last 15 years. Uh, it's not as big a data set as the tweet map, but the cool thing is that it's running off this. Uh, it's running off this Dell. Um, Precision M6800 has a K4100M GPU with four gigs. That's just enough to hold this and then all this text data I'm gonna talk about. We also have back there an R720 server with two K40s, uh, a Dell R720, and it's powering a big tweet map that we've also been showing here. Um, so let me show you this. This is all donations. I can actually turn on, we can, uh, so these are actually donations. We can click. Uh, this one was to Hillary Clinton, two hundred fifty dollars. Jesse Swan in two thousand eight. We can do fun stuff like animate it, and you can see trends over time. Certain races. This is showing the trend of whether, as we join them on the fly with census data, so that you see as income goes up, people give more to Democrats in this case on average. Um, we can also break it down by congressional district or by here we go. Here's county, so you can see this nice picture of. Where, where people give money to who. So we can also do, if I would turn on points, you can click on any person and see all their individual donations uh, and zoom in. I'm also going to quickly show you something else we're working at. This is a half a billion words, all words uttered in Congress and Senate for the last uh, 15, 20 years. And you can see you can type in something, and it basically does correlation analysis between words and builds a network graph on the fly. So I just did bubble here, and we can see Democrats talking about speculation, mortgage subprimes, uh, Goldman Sachs, Republicans more about Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Greenspan. You can all, you can change the timeline. Everything recomputes. It's all done in real time. Uh, a fun thing to look at is uh, let's do health. Let's do insurance. And you see Democrats here talking about uninsured, uh, Republicans talking about socialized medicine, Obamacare, and it clusters them on the fly. And this is all through the power of NVIDIA GPUs. You can imagine if we can do this on a laptop, we can do this across a billion tweets where you can ex examine topics in real time.